Hey guys! How's it going? So, Spider-Man! Finally saw it. I liked it a lot, but let's get into the review. Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man's, uh, you all know, I'm a big fan of. Andrew Garfield, not so much. Tom Holland, yeah, I, I can dig a little Holland, if you know what I mean. Let's just say right off the bat, I really like the film. I do think that it relies a lot on the two other origin Spider-Man movies. With one with Tobey Maguire, one with Andrew Garfield, because those those movies really explain the backstory, whereas this movie kind of just jumps into it and assumes that you know Uncle Ben died, that Peter got bit by a spider. If you didn't know those things, it might be a little confusing, but still, you, you'll get it after like a half an hour of watching. You'll understand what's going on. And this Spider-Man's a little different. This Spider-Man's like 15 years old, and the, all the other Spider-Mans that we've seen have been like kind of older, Andrew Garfield was like in his 20s, supposed to be a high school kid, you know. And Tobey Maguire was, was only in high school in the first Spider-Man. This is an interesting take to see a sophomore Spider-Man. And you know what? He's not perfect. He makes a lot of mistakes throughout the film. He's still learning. And that's something that we never really got to see with Spider-Man. Spider-Man, even in the first Tobey Maguire film, he was pretty on top of his shit after 20 minutes of being in the suit. It's weird to say this, but it's nice to see a Spider-Man that's not perfect. Even though it relies on the older films, it's still very good, because you could easily slide into the groove of this this Tom Holland Spider-Man, no questions asked. One thing that's very surprisingly very good about it is the villain, Michael Keaton's The Vulture. It, you kind of can feel for him. It's not it's not like some other superhero movies where they're just evil to be evil. I'm Doctor Evil, where my power is to be evil. It's not like that. It's not like you just put on the Vulture costume and went, I'm the Vulture! Die, Spider-Man! It's gradual, and you could actually side with him at some points throughout the movie. Not as good as anything like the Keith Ledger Joker, but still, you know, a memorable villain nonetheless. And this movie is also very, very funny. That's something you can expect from Marvel movies. Maybe not from DC, but there was moments where I was bursting out laughing and the entire theater was completely quiet for like these hilarious, hilarious moments. And I think it's just because there's a lot of old people in the crowd that doesn't understand all these jokes that they threw in there. I say penis, you say Parker, penis. Parker, penis, Parker. And overall, I give Spider-Man Homecoming and 8 out of 10, I'm still holding on, holding on to these Tobey Maguire films because they're so, they're so close to me, they're, they're a part of me, you know, like growing up watching them, so I wouldn't say that this is the best Spider-Man film ever, I know some people would say that, but nonetheless, it's very, very, very good, I definitely recommend you go see it. And Iron Man's in it too, I mean, like, what's not to like? I mean, even though he's only in a little bit of it, it's still cool to see Iron Man and Spider-Man together on screen, and I hope to see more of that in future movies. Thank you for watching, and sorry there was no story time this week, but you know what? You got two videos instead of one, so I think it's a good trade-off. A movie review and a vlog. If you haven't seen my vlog, I went to Philadelphia to see Slayer. Had a lot of fun with my friends Joey and Eddie. If you want to see that video, link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.